Stampers. Welcome to Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm here to show you a fun idea using your mini catalog or any of your catalogs. There are so many ideas in the catalog showing a suite of all these products. I'm turning to page eight and nine of our mini catalog that goes through April. They have this beautiful designer series paper and an extra six by six paper too. And I love how they coordinate to make simple projects. If you notice on this side of the paper, they have ideas. And as a demonstrator, we get to look these ideas up and get to find the recipe for them. So this we're going to have a blog post on so you can see the measurements. So let me show you how to make these and get the use out of your mini catalog. I'm going to start with the punch, the country bouquet punch. And it coordinates with this designer series paper and also the stamps. So they line up perfectly. So I've got those punched out. And I'm using a six by five and a half piece of cardstock of the craft and just a four inch by six inch piece of the designer series paper. And I love how this is just a cool background. It doesn't take away from the stamped image. And I'm just gonna put all three of these on so you can get the idea of how many cool colors there are to use for this, the craft paper and just creating a fun background of color. Because this is like a Valentine, but it could be just also for friends, just a lot of different ideas to use this for. So this is your basic template of what you're gonna do and you're gonna wrap it around the candy bar. So let me show you how to do that. So this is our candy bar and you're just gonna use the candy bar as your template to go ahead and push around the item. So you've got it already wrapped. So we wanna go ahead and adhere that. And it's not super tight. You're just gonna do it so you can, so it's got a sleeve that goes around the whole thing. And so you can pull it through. The way that you're gonna pull it through is you're gonna put your ribbon wrapped it around the actual candy bar and you're going to stick it inside there and at the top we're going to do a knot and then like a bow around that so we've got that secured and this ribbon comes together as a bundle so it actually works perfect for this look. You can tie a ribbon or you can make a bow. I think I'm gonna do a bow, it like makes it more romantic. And then I'll show you how I'm gonna decorate this up. Okay, we're gonna wanna move this around a little bit and tie off or trim the excess that we have left. All right, let's trim the bow a little bit. Okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and take the part of the stamp and punched art that we did. And you can either pop this up. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it right on down. You can do use dimensionals. I'm, and I kinda of wanna make this a flower. So take your brush tip of your marker and just make a, a like a flower stem doesn't have to be perfect. You're just creating the look of a flower. The true greenery of both sides. Okay, and the next thing I wanna go ahead and do is stamp with the sweet sorbet, a for you. because I wanna go ahead and take this as a little gift for someone. And then you're gonna go ahead and pop the punch in before you. 
And let's go ahead and put that down here. Let's go ahead and pop that up with the dimensional, the for you. And then we've got like, kind of like a fun little giveaway gift. But look how cute that you're pulling this up and it takes the hot the chocolate right with it. Same thing with this, it's just another size. And you can make these any size. You basically can wrap it around. It can be a smaller bar or a bigger bar. So I like using the mini catalog for these ideas to go ahead and share this cute idea for Valentine's Day. So hope you get a chance to use the mini catalog for ideas in your next project. If you don't have a current catalog at this time, you can comment below and we can send you a catalog. And so we'll see you next time on Watch It Weekly Wednesday.